Hi, my name is Chung Lam. I'm the person of Yichuan Technology America. I run the U.S. operation for Yichuan Technology. Yichuan is a DRAM company that's been around since the 1990s, and our product line is basically DRAMs. So we offer Sync DRAM, DDR2, DDR3, and basically we'll have DDR4 in the future. So we offer the standard JETIC DRAMs in commercial, industrial temperature, and we also op offer the DRAMs in the automotive temperature as well. Okay? And one of the things about our DRAM is that we do offer long life. So it's a 63 nanometer product we've been running since 2011. So it's been running for eight years now, and we'll continue to run it for the foreseeable future. So if you buy DRAM from us, you can be sure it'll be around for a long, long time. Okay, so the purpose of today, though, is that I would like to introduce our reduced pin count DRAM. So to do that, I want to give a little bit of history about DRAM technology. So for a long time, right, Intel is the one that drives the DRAM interface. So back in the 1990s, early 1990s, it went from EDO, from fast page, to EDO, then to you know, RAM bus, then Sync DRAM, DDR, DDR2, DDR3. All those DRAM was d designed by Intel for the PC and server space. You know, Intel didn't really care about the other markets, and the other markets basically just use whatever Intel defined because that's the cheapest DRAM. Intel drove so much volume that it doesn't matter. Right? Even though it's basically more bits than you need or higher performance than you need, you still buy the part because it's the cheapest one out there. Right? So for instance, DDR3, okay, it's a 512 make uh, a one gig product, and all you want is 256, you still buy the one gig because the extra bit is free. Okay? That paradigm breaks in the DDR4. Okay, the smallest DDR4 you can get is 4 gig. If you all you want is 256 meg, there's a big gap there. Okay, but the other thing is the performance. Okay, in order to use DDR4 performance, you need 20 nanometer pro process technology for your SOC. Okay, unless you need it for something else, do you really want to pay the cost of that 20 nanometer technology and also the mass cost in order to use a DDR4? Okay, for a lot of application, that's probably not a good decision. Okay, so what we've done at each one is basically say, okay, you know what, a DDR3 is actually what those customers want, but even DDR3 is an overkill. Okay, we can do it better. Okay, so what we did is we actually strip out about half the pin off of a DDR3. Okay, and then we also strip out a lot of features that you don't really need, like DDL, DLL and so forth. Okay, so this product now is, has half the pin count and yet still give you a DDR3 performance. So if I show this here, okay, this is a standard DDR3 package that is basically 96 pin. Okay, we have now have a DRAM that's basically super tiny, half the pin of a DDR3, and yet give you the same performance. Okay, and you can see the point factor savings. Okay, in addition, okay, because I got half the pin and I don't have a DLL, the power requirement of that part is smaller as well. Okay, so this part basically gives you DDR3 performance with much lower space size, form factor, and much lower cost of uh, power as well, okay? So that's what we're offering here. That's what the RPC DRAM does, okay? So in addition to the, you know, here's a sample application of this RPC DRAM. What you're seeing here is the Lattice AI sense board, okay? And so this thing is basically doing people recognition on this form factor here, okay? Okay, and this is actually the Lattice CP5 FPGA with DDR3 DRAM. With our RPC DRAM, though, we can compact that thing down to the size of a postage stamp. So on here, you have the RPC DRAM, I mean, uh, the Lattice EPC 5 FPGA with two of our RPC DRAM on here. Okay, so we compact this board down to the size of a postage stamp. So you can have a, basically a computation device that's the size of a postage stamp that can actually do AI um, uh, function computation, okay? So again, the value is the, soft, the small form factor. Imagine the cost saving that goes with that, and then also the power savings as well, okay? All right, so again, on the RPC DRAM, the reduced pin count, okay, on the DRAM side, okay, we cut down the pin and make it small, but a DRAM being a very cheap part anyway, you're not gonna get much savings. But on the SOC side, if I cut 40 pins out, okay, that would be a huge saving on SOC. Okay, and then on the PCB, you can cut down the PCB size as well, and then you know, the reduced real estate form factor, that's where the saving comes in. The overall system saving is going to be pretty dramatic using our RPC DRAM.